I've rounded up uh, some crab bait, Asian crabs. I'm um, going to be using these and I'm going to try some other things. Also going to try these today. They didn't have the blood worms, but sand worms might work. So I'm going to give these a shot. And also, these are old, old clams. But uh, they've been salted and they smell good. So I'm going to be trying these too. A little bit of everything today, giving them a buffet. Everything but what I know they want. So might just crown something else up. But uh, these are the baits. Hi everybody, uh, Jerry here. Today I am bottom fishing, uh, basically looking for porgy. Been a lot around. Went to get some blood worms. I was going to do a fishing edition with the beach master, but uh, they didn't have any blood worms. Didn't have sand worms. So I went out and uh, I'm going to try some vertically gulp sand worms, old old clam. I got some Asian crab I'm going to try too for these guys. So, just getting started and uh, talk about what we're doing. Uh, hopefully we'll catch something and how we're doing it. Alright, already out there so let's get fishing. I'm going to start with the clam, small piece of clam. See if we get any bites. Again, no blood worms today. And I'm just going to try different baits. Alright, let's see what happens. Give that a shot. Clams are old. On, just cut them. Cutting them up in porgy sized pieces. Maybe a little bigger. I'll try. Clam little bits. Like the guts. I'm trying everything today. These here. Crab a shot. Got away. Now we're going to do the clam again. See if we get one on the clam. So I'm going to do up a sandworm. Just going to cut him into little pieces. Let's see how it goes. So I stick with the sandworms here. We'll get a giant one. That's a nice one. That's a pretty fish. These sandworms ain't too bad. The fishing ain't real fast either today. So, we'll get them over here to Willie. Oh, you bleed them? Yes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's more better. It's more... Uh, Makes it better, yeah. It's more feeling... Uh, the blood. Get the blood out. Yeah. I feel like I'm fishing like a little kid today. Just reeling it in and out. And in and out. But just having fun with the bait. Seeing what it does. Let's get this in. Some clam. Just going to cut in small square pieces. Maybe I'll strip. Maybe I'll try a strip. But some little squares. A lot of bait out of one. One last porgy. And he took the clam. We might take our experiment on top. And he took the clam. See if Willie wants to. So it got dark out uh, quicker than I thought. So I came up here with the bait, 
and uh, see if we can get some night fish. So, night fish on old clam, crab, and power, whatever they are, power sandworms. Well, let's get out, let's see what happens. So we took the experiment into the night. And night porgy, small. And he took the clam. Real quick, let me just talk about how I'm rigged. It's just a three-way rig. Uh, I'll tie a loop knot, slip my sinker through. That's a surgeon's knot clipped. And I snell on a number four Gamakatsu hook. You can see those in the other video. And this is just straight 30-pound monofilament line. That's just how I'm rigged up here. Quick, easy, simple, and effective. Way I like. So we took the experiment into the night. Mm, night porgy, small. And he took the clam. mission to get one on a crab so I took took the experiment into the night hopefully we'll get one on the crab let me try a crab this is a short shell one so I'm not gonna keep them out there too long like I was saying I have clam old old clam crab and uh, power worms and been looking to get one on the crab, which they will take, and we did. Very cool. It's gonna be smaller at night. Little, littler one. Looks like he's eight, nine. So I think the tally is one on the crab, I think three on the clam, and two on the worms something like that <laughs> but uh just having fun out here um almost fishing like a kid again like i said i'm not really sticking to one thing or whatever but just enjoying the fishing a little bigger one i think what is he he's not even a porgy Let's see what he is A little bass. Check that out. Tiny, tiny striper. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Oh. On that note, I am getting out of here. And he took the clam. So today I came back and I am double rigging. So my curiosity, my patience is in the water rather than in my head. I'm working two baits. I should have did that the other day. The bite's a little slower today. But they're still fishing around. So today I'm double rigging. Got the crab on the top and clam on the bottom. Seems to be working now. So I was rounding up these here crab and I just seen a couple of these but this is the biggest one yet. Check this out. They hang on, hanging underneath the rocks. Oyster toadfish. Very cool. I should probably make good striper bait. Time is short this time of year, especially when you get a late start, so if you get a few, you did okay. The sun sets quick, and this is like daylight fishing. Okay, we got one now, and I'm high lowering in at the moment, so I can throw a 
few different kinds of baits out at the same time and just see what's working. And coming in now, don't feel too big. Pretty sure he's a cord. Kingfish. Yeah. He took the clam. I got the worm on the top. Little one. So I wound it up some local, well, not really local, uh, Asian crabs. Um, invasive species are very plentiful wherever you go any rocks flip them over and they're just all over you get them right along the water line I find them but I'm gonna try these I'm gonna try a crab on top now and I just had a hit on the clam and it definitely felt like a porgy the old clam so let's get out let's see what Do you want him? Do you want him? He took the crab. Yeah, watch out, there's a hook on the bottom. You're welcome. I'm gonna try a crab. Sometimes I'll double. Clam on the bottom. The crab. size borders today. Be careful. Oh, you. Yeah. This guy feels like he's Watch out here. So not a bad fishing on the tide we fished. Actually, I think that fish took a crab, a little piece of crab, clam combo. Oh my God. The tide just came in now. Fish are in. It is getting dark. Let me just fish these crabs whole right through the shell. 
do a combo up here. A little bit of clam and a little crab. It's a shrub shell crab. That's it. And they are still coming in. Actually, if you combo, it's a whole truck stopping bottom this time. Crab, clam, crab, clam. to the channel or not. And remember always fish your way. Thanks again for watching.